people don't just look at me. Subscribe and hit like now. Well, anyway, the last time we made a video like this, we were talking about, what was it again? The new gamer girl, such as Finister. Well, right now, I don't know what's happening with that new thing. I don't know if it's become famous, but I'm pretty sure it's doing well. And I'm looking forward to what will happen next. I'm really, really curious about that topic. But anyway, right now, what are we, what are we going to talk about right now? I've came up with a topic that we can talk about, and it's about virtual idols. And I'm pretty sure you all didn't know what I'm getting at. Virtual idols like Hatsune Miku, Ren and Lin, and whom um, I don't know who the hell other people are, like Mafu Mafu, I don't know. Those were back in my high school and teenage stages. <laughs> Where I listen to Hatsune Miku and Kagami no Rin and Len. And right now, Riot Gaming is slaying the entire virtual idol thing. And I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about KDA. So how did this whole virtual idol thing started in the first place? I don't know the very roots of it. But I'm pretty sure that the very, very most famous virtual idol was Hatsune Miku. Um, let me find- if you don't know ha who Hatsune Miku is, let me find a video for you. What is this? I think this is the best video I can show you. Basically, that's it. That's Hatsune Miku. Now, if you want an example of what song she sings, <laughs> Hatsune Miku is not a character built by some big corporations or talent agency. Basically, there are, there are music artists out there that are creating songs, and then they put Hatsune Miku's voice on it. Like, for example, this one. The song's actually good, no doubt. The beat is good. I'm not kidding. This is, the beat is good. Okay, that's it. That's all I can show you. I don't want to be copyrighted by YouTube. If you want to listen to the whole song, just search it. I'll leave the link down below. That's it. I guess you have the idea of what kind of songs he makes. She makes. I don't know. It makes. I don't know what pronoun to refer to Hatsune Miku because basically she's just an AI. And there are people like this one who makes songs and then just puts Hatsune Miku's voice on the song. And there are other variations than just Hatsune Miku. And as you can see, Hatsune Miku is actually a very successful kind of virtual idol. I mean, this video alone that was published in May 6, 2019 was able to rap, was able to accumulate around 7 million views. I would die for this kind of views. Yeah, but as I was saying, there are other kind of variations of virtual idols in Japan. Like for example, Kagami no Rin and Len, let's search them for you. That's it. That's all I can show you. I don't want to be copyrighted. I guess you already have the idea who, who Kagami no Ren and Lin is. This, according to the concept or the law behind Kagami no Ren and Len, is that they're twins. Like those twins from Gravity Falls or whatever it's called. And these were the earliest known virtual idols that are very successful, by the way, in the anime community. So weebs out there are actually dancing to this kind of thing, including me. Back then, I was dancing to all these kind of songs. It was a stage, okay? It was a stage. But other than that, we have Riot Games. As I said, Riot Games is slaying the entire virtual idol concept with KDA, and it's actually pretty good. For someone like me who listens to K-pop and anime songs, and some other catchy songs out there i approve of kda so if you want to know some kind of backstory around kda i don't play league of legends by the way the first song that kda was able to create was i don't know what was the first song again let me find it first pop stars here's a sample That's all I can show you. That's all I can make you hear. Go find the song if you want to listen to it. And I'm pretty sure you've listened to this like 
Come on. It has around 400 million views. This is, that's a sign that this thing is very successful. And Riot Games is just dancing with a lot of money and views and fame out of this virtual idol that involves characters from a game voiced by actual singers like Madison Beer. Madison Beer? Is his name Madison Beer? Yeah, Madison Beer. Jill. Jire Burns, and I don't know who's the other one. Two more songs. The other one is named as Badness, and I didn't like it. And the um, latest one was titled More, which involves Seraphim. That's all I can show you, I'm sorry. I don't want to be copyrighted. I don't want to, be, I don't want to receive strikes because of this video. So this is a new type of genre and Riot Games was able to incorporate it in their marketing strategies or just pleasing the fans because of, I don't know, K-pop. So basically, so basically, they incorporated two things. Virtual idols and K-pop. They were able to create this new kind of this new product that blew up the internet, especially the League fandom. And especially for me, like people like me who just listen to K-pop, who don't even play League, find this actually very good and pleasing. Maybe some other people out there hate this, but I don't care. All I can say is I like it. It's very successful. I mean, look at the KDA pop stars. It has around... 300 million views and you're going to tell me that this thing that is a big failure no it's not it's very successful obviously and i'm looking forward for more things about kda I'm, so far i'm liking this project of riot games and i hope they won't like every other people do because of trying to keep up with the same hype well i guess that's it for today thank you for listening and i hope you have a nice day remember we're all kings and queens <laughs>